Hi, this is Dr. Raj Singh. I practice here in Las Vegas, Nevada at Healer and I'm also a faculty at uh, Ampara Medical Training. Today I thought we'll dive into the topic of testosterone pellets. To my surprise, all the pellets have been there for such a long time, they're still not widely used and they're not often uh, recommended as a therapy for testosterone replacement. So I thought I'll try to use, you know, put some more light on the topic. So first of all, why you should consider getting testosterone a replacement therapy, right? Not just pellet, but testosterone replacement. So if your testosterone levels are low, generally men feel like they have a little bit of foggy mind, they get tired more easy, they're not as much fun to be around, uh, they might be more emotional, might tear up more easy, and of course there's a sexual part of it, there is less sexual desire, less morning time erections, increased risk of osteoporosis, increased risk of diabetes, some cancers of course can be increased when you have low testosterone because remember testosterone is good for our immunity. So low testosterone can certainly increase risk of certain cancers. You do want a good immunity so that your own immune system can protect you against those cancer cells. So that being said, testosterone therapy is important. So of course you can use testosterone injections, which I don't recommend. And of course testosterone gels are there. Uh, remember when you do testosterone injection, uh, you're getting a very high therapeutic level. And then of course from there the levels kind of go down. So when men get testosterone injections, initially first two or three days they kind of are more hostile, they're more angry and then they kind of improve a little bit but then they start getting tired again because the levels kind of go up and they kind of go trend down. Normally testosterone levels kind of are highest in the morning and then they kind of do sustain, remain at a little bit uh, detectable level. So pellets, what are pellets? So pellets are these rice grain size medications, let's put it that way, that can be inserted under the skin. We generally insert them in the hip area, so they are sometimes called butt pellets too. So, so they are typically made of uh, soybeans, um, and uh, generally men tolerate them very well. And I have not seen any issues with uh, soy allergy or anything. So, how do we insert pellets? Well, of course, uh, once we determine that your testosterone levels are low and you're a candidate for testosterone replacement, we'll discuss all the different options with you. If you do decide to go with testosterone pellet therapy, we order these medications from a compounding pharmacy. Remember, the testosterone pellets are not a patented therapy. That's why you don't get any advertisement and that's why they're an affordable option to get testosterone replacement. So, of course, we order the testosterone from compounding pharmacy. Once we got the right dose, schedule a procedure. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. We numb the area with a local anesthetic. And of course, these pellets are inserted under the skin in the fat tissue. They can last up to five to six months. And they provide sustainable level of uh, testosterone over five to six months. You can't get that with injections. First of all, there's no needles. Uh, with gels, again, you could forget. And the, there is also an issue with not getting adequate amount of absorption of gel from into the skin. Uh, the third would be also when you do have a testosterone gel on, you got to be really careful that you don't transfer it to somebody who is around you, you know, typically young children at a higher risk. Uh, so all those things kind of make pellets really, really a fantastic way to replace uh, testosterone. So if you have issues with low testosterone and you're struggling with kind of wide variation of moods and you're just not feeling healthy, and you've already tried the injection, you would looked at the gel, consider testosterone pellets. They do make a significant difference in health. It takes about a week for you to notice uh, the results. So I will add more on the issue of pellets and also estrogen pellets and progesterone pellets when it relates to women. Uh, that's all I have to say today. On a side note, I did receive a lot of comments on my lecture, let's put it that way, on cannabis and its effect on hormones. 
and uh, of course some people appreciate it and uh, some cannabis advocates are not happy with that video so I just want to say here you know I am not against cannabis I some of my patients use it they like it I recommend CBD for some patients with chronic pain but just like everything else everything has pros and cons so yes cannabis has health benefit for some individuals but that doesn't mean that it, can, it works good for everybody and it has no negative effects so please that's all I'm gonna say cool